walk on this mud right now because it's very narrow and you slip and you want to slip into the water. It's kind of interesting, kind of a little scary. We're heading over to this hut over here. All right, I'm standing here in the middle of some rice fields at this uh, shack here and in the background. Yeah, this is Buda Seco. It's made of milk and flour. It's kind of like a light fluffy cookie, I believe, or a biscuit, maybe if you're in London. Mm. It's kind of flaking. Okay, kind of reminds me of like a vanilla wafer, but kind of more, um, kind of like a chalky flavor. Almost melts in your mouth. Um, uh, it's kind of, it's kind of interesting. It kind of like grinds to powder and it's real creamy. Interesting a little biscuit. All right, next we're gonna try. Um, these are called uh, these are candy beans and they're spoiled and soaked in um, sugar, I believe, and then they're coated with powdered sugar. Let me get a close up of that. And that's what it looks like in the bag. And these are very. These are very popular here in the Philippines. I'm gonna test this and see what these beans taste like. They're actually made from beans. Mm, okay. All right, it tastes, uh, it tastes like a bean. It tastes like a sugared bean. It's kind of hard, but not, not mushy. Um, but they're fully cooked, as you can see. They're fully cooked and they're kind of, uh, Kind of slightly chewy, but not too mushy. Um, it's kind of interesting, kind of like a, like a sweet bean. I want to try these uh, Tyrones, and these these are very popular. These out, and they're made. I'm told they're made kind of like the substance that's used in a uh, like an ice cream cone. And this particular one, some of them are hollow or filled with other kind of sugar sweets. So this this one I've been told on the inside of it, so it's like an ice cream cone and it's filled with like a powdered sugar, powdered milk or something, so. Oh yeah, there's the powder. There's the powder coming out. Um, okay, that's kind of interesting. It's kind of um, a very mild flavor, kind of tastes like vanilla. Yeah, like an ice cream cone, kind of, kind of bland, but not too um, mild. I could see that tasting really good with coffee. All right, next, I'm gonna do these. These are rice balls. Uh, they're candied with kind of like instead of caramel corn, they're kind of candied rice. So caramel rice, I guess you could call it. And so um, try these for the first time as well. These are very popular here in the Philippines. Okay, yeah. Kind of like, um, yeah, it's a carameled rice. It tastes just like what it is. Carameled candied rice. 
They're laughing at me here in the Philippines. They think I'm a crazy American vlogging about their uh, their sweets. But we find this fascinating when you go to other countries to try their foods. Well, I could eat a lot of those. That's, that's good. Yeah. Okay. I'm saving the last, the best for last. I don't know if you're aware, but in a lot of Asian countries, they have Kit Kats. Not just in the Philippines, but I happen to be here in the Philippines, where they have um, exotic or unusual flavors of Kit Kat. So I have a flavors of Kit Kat. So I have a a matcha tea Kit Kat that I'm going to test here in a second. I'm going to taste, and then the only one other one I could find was um, this is a bigger bar of a Kit Kat. It's called New York Cheesecake cheesecake uh, Kit Kat. So we're gonna start with this one first, just to test it and see what happens. Cause you know, they're hard to find in America to find different um, exotic or weird flavors, I guess. So here's the cheesecake Kit Kat bar. Cheesecake flavor. Okay, really sweet, of course. Chocolate, um, let's see, yeah. Yeah, it does have a cheesecake flavor. It's really sweet. Whoa. Woo. That is sweet. Ah. It's really sweet and strong flavor. Okay, so that's the that's the New York cheesecake Kit Kat bar. And then say the best for last matcha tea. So if you go to, so if you go to Starbucks, you can have a, a matcha green matcha tea uh, frappuccino I believe and it's that green blended drink and of course matcha tea is very popular right now in the US and it's been popular so this is interesting the actual color is green and um, it's kind of a very uh, kind of pukish green not very attractive really but that's what you expect with matcha tea right so here it it actually smells like matcha tea it smells like tea well here we go matcha green tea Kit Kat bar flavor. Mm. That's actually pretty good. If you like green tea, if you like matcha tea specifically, it is exactly that flavor. Mm. That's good. That actually is good. I'm surprised. Again, only if you like green tea or matcha matcha tea are you going to like this flavor. But it's exactly what it says it is. A Kit Kat um, green matcha or matcha tea.